Hey guys, um, welcome to our first ever cooking with Mike and Elizabeth. Hey, how are you guys doing? Today we will be cooking... Uh, chilaquiles verdes, well I'm call calling them chilaquiles because you know it's where you have the tortilla chips with salsa and it's verdes because it's going to be green, we're using tomatillos and serrano peppers. And so these are our ingredients. As you may recall from our pre previous vlog, we were in El Super and we got those mission tortillas. We had to change them because as you saw, they were all um, 90, 90 uh, milligrams of sodium. But then we found these guys, the El Comal brand uh, tortilla chips. These are only uh, 50 milligrams of sodium. So we had to go with those because it's less sodium. And Give me one second, I need to see what's going on. Okay. Yeah. So now I can turn it off, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's because I washed the pot and I need to make sure that there's no water in it because I'm going to be using oil later. And you know what happens when you mix oil and water? Chaos. I took a cooking class, I know what happens. Yeah. And I've seen it, it's scary. So I guess we don't have to worry about any water being here anymore. I just need to get rid of any trace of water. Okay, looks good. Yep. Okay, so we have those tortilla chips. And we also have the cheese. It's one of the main ingredients. The best cheese. Yeah. So it has the string cheese here. as Oaxaca cheese. We, um, we cut it, you know... We kind of, uh, you know, we were, <laughs> we were cutting the cheese and into little pieces like these. Uh, you guys can do the long one if you want, but I have kids and I don't want them choking on the cheese later. <laughs> and then um, you, down here we have the fresco cheese, which is uh, Don Francisco brand. These are the best. I, sh I show you back there at the supermarket. And then we have these ingredients. We have cilantro, mm -hmm. uh, onion. You know, two slices of onion, three cloves of uh, garlic, and then we have this, the epazote leaves. So this is going to be part of the salsa. And I almost forgot, but good thing I remember because the cream is very important too. The best cream. Yeah. The cream I showed you earlier at El Super. So this is it, the crema natural because, you know, it has no salt. So this is the cream that we're going to be using for the, for the salsa too. Okay, so the the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cook these guys, the, the, the tomatillo and the serrano peppers. Mm -hmm. Before that, I'm going to be cutting these, the tails, and I'm going to be poking the uh, the peppers because if you don't do that, they're going to explode. Like, like seriously, they, I'm not even, I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to do that, but yeah, that's what, that's what's going to happen if you don't cut it. Trust me, I took in all these cooking classes and everything, I know. <laughs> okay, so I gotta remove those. I should have done it before we started rolling, but yeah, I'm, I'm showing you. Yep. Okay, and now I have to wash this part. And I'm being weird today. Yeah. You're always being weird, Mike. I have to. <laughs> being weird is fun. Okay, so that's one. And then... Yeah, he's making, trying to make me laugh. Okay. Right, so... This is the part, you see, it's cut. And this one too. So that'll keep them from popping. Okay. So it adds a little air to them. Okay, so now this is the comal, you know, we put it in the stove so that we can start cooking the, pre-cooking actually, before we put them in the blender. Yep, you know, add a little. But then I have, first I have to turn it on, oh wait, uh, sure. yeah, it's this one. Okay, warm it up. Okay. I don't think all of them are going to fit at one time because we have a total of 13. So... Third time. Okay, so... I'm going to put about 
six maybe. Oh, I'm just gonna put these and then the chiles. Yeah. And that'll be. Okay, so we leave them there for a little bit and then we're gonna get the blender ready because we wanna make sure we have everything ready. And then. <laughs> I know, I'm being crazy with the and thens. So, Mike, do you have any ideas about what should we should be talking about in today's podcast? Um, not really sure, actually. In today's episode of our podcast? Well, actually, this is our first ever cooking with. Yeah. Well, mainly about how the food should be prepared, what should we use, you know. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, yeah, like I told you, we're having the kids as our guests, my niece, Ruby, and my nephew, Xavier, so that should be fun. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Awesome blossom. Or like one of the girls at, at my workplace says, awesome possum. <laughs> Not awesome possum. I guess she likes possum. I don't. <laughs> I've seen too many videos about possums and... Okay, I'm going to be using these two of these guys yeah. here. <laughs> Just shove them up somebody's... <laughs> Not for that. <laughs> Uh, so we have to make sure that you're well, because they're going to be well cooked. And then after that, I'm going to be removing all the, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mom says we need to remove the black spots from the... Yeah. Because if you don't remove them, it's going to turn out bad. Yeah. So I guess we take this one. Yeah, you always have to make sure you, uh... Now it smells like tomatoes. Mm-hmm, yeah. See, they're, they're cooking now. Look at, look at this guy. Yeah, look at that. I see a dark spot now. <laughs> see a little tan. Oh, wait. Something's missing. Yeah, I... Need to finish my coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she needs her coffee, otherwise she's not functioning. Oh, yeah. I know that feeling. I need my coffee. Mm, yeah, and I have the office mug. <laughs> yep. My favorite phrase. That's what she said. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, you can find it right here. Where? Oh yeah, right there. that blue one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Mike's favorite face. And I got this mug at um, Box Launch. It's a, a store at the Main Place Mall. If you guys are in the Orange County area, then you may know which store I'm talking about. Make it a <sighs> okay. Well, there is one at Brea Mall. I remember seeing it. Yeah, I smell the tomato now. Oh, yeah, smell. you don't want to fry it. I wouldn't be able to because I didn't add any oil. <laughs> no, I'm talking about like, actually, no, you don't want to burn it. Oh. Uh, that, okay. <laughs> See, it sounds pretty dramatic here, so if I wouldn't have poked the chiles, they would have popped by now. Look and that would kill both of us. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to get quite a scare if that happens. Uh. And yeah, we don't want to go to the hospital. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't like chilies as much. Yeah. But the tomatoes look good. Yeah, I think... They mm -hmm. seem fine now. And they're shaking. Mm -hmm. Well, one of them was shaking. Mm -hmm. Was it shaking its booty? <laughs> it was twerking. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you don't like twerking. Yep, Mike is a hardcore metalhead. He does he does not like twerking. Well, only little girls twerk. Women headbang. Oh yeah, I remember that meme. Because it's true. And I don't think you guys saw our stove. If you notice, this is not the same stove we've had before. Well, it's still a po um, power stove, but it's different now. Don't use electric stoves, people. Yeah. Use gas. Right here, we don't have any choice. If we did, then yeah, we would definitely use... If this is like the first time in years I'm using an electric stove, uh, 
in the valley when I was a little girl I remember we were renting an apartment that also had a, a Sepulveda Boulevard you guys are probably familiar with that iconic LA street mm. yeah I, I lived in Sepulveda Boulevard when I was a little girl but now Orange County yeah it's all about Orange County now. there's some good stuff in Orange County yeah I'm from LA County so <laughs> You guys have impressed me. He's still not an Angels fan yet. Hell no. <laughs> Dodgers all the way. <laughs> I'm glad they won. Yeah, at least because the World Series, right? But I mean, what happened with the Raiders? We really suck, right? Well, they're uh, NFL. So they're not gonna make it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, they're out because the refs are against us. So who's down for the Super Bowl now? Which teams? I don't know. I gotta look it up. Cause I, when a team of mine is gone, I boycott. <laughs> yeah. Probably just watch it because of the commercial. Those are funny. The halftime show sucks. Yeah, I'm not interested in their halftime shows. Like, why is there always some pussy pop group? <laughs> Get some Metallica in that bitch. Yeah, I know, right? We want to see good acts in the. Cause everyone was disappointed at last year's act two. Those girls. Yeah. I still call them girls. Yeah, those are pretty good. Let's see, should we get this guy out or not? Smells burned. So I think it's... We'll give it a little... Girl. Well, yeah. We should take them out, right? And yeah. Put another one in here. Look at that. So we're going to put this... Oh, we're going to put this here and then we're going to start peeling them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then we we'll put another one in. To replace, because come yeah. on. It's like grilling cheeseburgers. Yeah, it's going to take a little while. I think the cheese side should put them away, too. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, put them in there. And that'll make room for more, more for my fingers. Yeah. This yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to burn them. Actually, um, funny story about my dad, my late father, may he rest in peace. He did something really interesting because uh, you, you're Mexican. Well, even if you're not Mexican, if you're quite familiar with Mexican food, you may remember this dish called chiles rellenos, which is like, they kind of look like uh, bell peppers, mm -hmm. but they're spicy. And you stuff them with cheese or uh, ground beef or stuff like that. I heard of those. Yeah, so my dad made some and he burned them and my mom was super pissed. But then she tried them and she noticed they were good, so. Yeah. Yeah. So. Just because something's burned doesn't mean it's not going to taste good. Think about it. Yeah, you just got to be careful how you cook them though. Yeah. If they're burnt to a crisp, then yeah, that's... It's going to cause some problems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the other day when... We were cooking for toilets. My mom took, told me to turn off the stove at 6. And I delayed for half an hour. So I turned off. Yeah, I remember just because she called me. I don't know, my head, head was up in the clouds. I, I forgot what I was doing. But yeah. <laughs> it happens, you know. That's why. You try to remember things and then you forget them. It's, it's human nature. <laughs> One of them just farted. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, look. The shaking. Oh, okay. I guess he's not going to be shaking anymore. I think that one's... Just roll it around. Yeah. Bring it around town. <laughs> I was laughing because Xavier found some funny TikTok videos that I did months ago. You know, back when life was still normal. Before yeah. the whole lockdown. Fuck this lockdown. But, yeah, we gotta get back on topic for our food. Mm -hmm. you gotta make sure it's perfect. You don't want it too uh, burnt or too raw. Yeah, have you ever seen Gordon Ramsay? It's raw! <laughs> yeah. He's such an idiot that if he was here cooking with us, he wouldn't even know what we're doing. 
Actually, no, he's actually really good at cooking. Yeah, just that one time he did uh, what he called huevos rancheros, believe me. Whatever he did, they did not look like huevos rancheros. So can you put the camera closer here so that way we can see? Hold on. I gotta like zoom a zoom in. in. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I, I zoomed in too much. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, yeah, perfect. See, these are the tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. I say tomato. Mm hmm. I don't know who the fuck says tomato. Oh, the British do. Or no, people who try to act fancy. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, people who try to act fancy talk British. I mean, just look at Madonna. <laughs> no, she's trying to act British, but she's not. Yeah, even Rosie O'Donnell was making fun of her for that. <laughs> You know what to do with the big fat butt. Oh yeah, that's what it reminds you of. Yeah, it starts shaking. Yeah. My arm is tired. <laughs> that's how I felt when I was cooking the carne asada. Alright, so now we're going to put this guy away. Replace it with another. Mm-hmm. Come on, let's put over. Actually, never mind. Yeah. Oh, can you open it here? I have a problem with a okay. little lock. Yeah, I just asked him to remove the lock from the window. There you go. There That's we go. all we need. Cause I'm not even taking cheeses anymore and I'm choking. Wow. I know, me too. Excuse you. Excuse <laughs> moi. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. This one, right? Yeah. Ah! Okay, I'll leave this one. Yeah, I can smell it. Oh, we only have two more. Yeah. That's all the same we got. Yeah, I just bring it, bring it around town. What? Yeah, this guy's still shaking. Yep. When they start shaking like that, that means I think they're prepared. We're gonna let them rest for a while, then we're gonna add some water before removing the dark spot. Water. What about? Yeah, I guess he's done too. Yep. What about the turkey one? I'm just able to do it for a little bit more. Yeah. Ah! There you go. What about this guy? Uh, it needs more. And these two, yeah, they definitely need more. A little more. <laughs> yeah. It's still shaking. <laughs> okay, stop. Good. Gosh. Everything's yeah. turned dirty. Shit. That one's still... A little more, and these will be done. Yeah. See, our first edition of cooking with Mike and Elizabeth. Mm hmm. So far, so good. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that one got steamed. Yeah, I guess this one's good. Yeah, it's steaming. Steaming and gleaming. <laughs> Next will be dreaming. Oh, yeah, that one's shaking now. 
this one should be done. Yeah. Yeah. Something back pretty warm, so that means it's done. It's making a weird noise. <laughs> yeah, it's twerking too much. Yeah, that's the beginning. Yeah. So yeah, I hope uh, Ruby and Xavier are not too shy about answering the questions we'll have for them. Well, because we're doing a new podcast tonight. They shouldn't. Yeah, we're not going to put them on the spot, you know, but we're yeah. just going to add normal, you know, the type of questions you would ask to kids. Yeah, so i got to think of what questions to ask Xavier. Yeah, and don't forget, you can find our podcast on uh, Spotify, Apple, SoundCloud. yeah, Apple Music, SoundCloud, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> I think we're going to start having them available uh, here on YouTube, but I'm not quite sure yet. Yeah, when it's when it's available, we'll post every one of them. I think that should be good for that one. Mhm. Mm it's the last one, and then we'll be good. Yeah, we're gonna peel them, and then we're gonna send them to the blender. Well, she'll peel them and show you how to do it. Cause if you don't know how to do it, learn from the expert. <laughs> Someone's dog is barking. <laughs> it's probably that one dog you don't like. Oh yeah, because there's an annoying dog here in the neighborhood and they the the owner comes out with the dog but you know it's not that typical owner that puts the dog on a leash. They the, the dog just runs wild running around they, start yeah. chasing people uh, it already did it to my nephew and that made me really upset I told him not to do it and that per law you need to have your dog on a leash but I guess they don't listen and that's why there's all these cases of dogs biting people and lawsuits and all that because yep. people just don't listen because when a dog bites it's not the dog's fault it's the owner exactly that's why when I used to live at my mom's I'd always keep Puggy on a leash yeah you don't want your dog running wild and getting you in trouble. Exactly. And there you go. Those are okay, so the. Now we can turn over the stove and we're gonna leave this to make to rest. those. Yeah. I gotta back up. Backing up. Okay, so this is how they look, right? So I'm gonna put some water and I'm gonna start peeling them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do it here actually. What? Uh the peeling. The peeling. You don't wanna peel too much. Oh here. Uh, so they can see how I do it. Okay. Here, I gotta get a good angle. There we go. So yeah, look how she's doing. Yeah. And don't worry, my hands are clean. Are you sure? Yeah, no, see, I cut my nails and I don't have any nail polish, so you don't have to worry about me putting any dirty things in the food. Remember, focusing. Okay, that one's good. Yeah, make sure all the burnt parts are out. Yep. We didn't used to care, but then we got into the habit of removing them. Yeah. Oh, this guy's look at that so if the years have been weird so I don't know if you guys want to share your plans for 2021 with us but what about you babe any plans uh well f focusing on working hard and focus on my music yeah because he made an announcement recently about his yeah, he he was finally done with writing one of his songs. Yep. Count his blood, right? 
Yeah, which is about Countess Elizabeth Bathory. Mm -hmm. Which they gave her that nickname because she'd bathe in the blood of her enemies. And victims. Uh, yeah, victims. More like... Well, I say enemies because it sounds more brutal like that. <laughs> well, yeah. If she really wanted to destroy her enemy, she would have gone after her husband, I guess, because he's the one who locked her up, I think. Yeah, and she died when she was like 21. So. Didn't she die at 50 something? No. Huh. They locked her in a room at 21, and then several years later, they want to see if she was there because there was, you know, she wasn't answering or anything. So they opened the door and they found un uneaten food. Hmm. So she starved herself to death. It's because she wanted blood, that's why. Yeah. But since they refused to give her blood, then. Well, it's like that ACDC song. If you want blood, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell that to Elizabeth Bathory. The Countess Blood. Or Blood Countess. And I apologize if I offend anybody. Hm. Yeah, it's just that, you know, that's Mike's band. He likes writing about serial killers and crazy things happening in the world. Yeah, the evils of the world. But, of course, he doesn't glorify Satan because he's not a Satanist, as you all know. Exactly. Well, we got to tell that to those hardcore so-called Christians. You mean Joel Osteen fans? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, who could who could like that guy? He's greed impersonated. Exactly. I think that should be good. Yeah, we're going to leave the we're going to get rid of all this in a minute, but right now, uh, I think I was able to peel all of them off. So yeah. the next step is to put all of this in the blender. Yep. Put that not the water, just the tomatoes and the rest of the stuff. The tomatoes. You see how she's doing it? Follow her instructions. Because <laughs> if you don't like it, oh well. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> if not, we're going to have to grind some first and then put put it... Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, where's the lid? Oh. Here it's it right is. friggin' there. Here we go. It's loud. Get ready, because it is going to be loud. No, I think they're stuck together. You know what? I've never done this, but I guess it's... Or I'm going to... Ah, no. Okay. Actually, the... yeah. This is cleaner. I'm going to have to remove some and then resume. Yeah. Yeah, because otherwise this is not going to get done today. Yeah, we got to take care of stuff today. Yeah, we're going to go to the mall. We want to do some shopping because... I'm assuming it's not going to get so packed today. It's gonna get Shopping. Work Monday, yeah. I gotta work Monday. Something is still stuck. No, they're they're stuck against the walls together. Yeah. So maybe if I do this, it'll help? Yeah. Yeah, I apologize. This never happened before, but, you know. What, what I suggest is, like, put one at a time. Maybe this would help? Or this? Try it. Yeah, we'll try it like this. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> yep, and now we have room for the rest. Yeah, see? 
I'm right. Yay! Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna put these guys first. Yeah. Make sure. Looks like one of those weird smoothies. <laughs> And then we're gonna put the last hand. Those last two ones. Cause my with my other blender I didn't have this problem. That's why I'm gonna get a ninja blender when we get a new place. Oh hell yeah. last two and then that's it oh and we need to put the other ingredients in oh yeah the cheese and all that no not the cheese we're gonna put the cilantro oh yeah the blip the the garlic and the onion yeah yeah okay might as well get that now. these guys just gonna have to clean them later oh yeah. shit okay excuse me i'm gonna go get the rest of that stuff yep look at her Great chef. <laughs> well, at least I'm trying. Hey, one day I'll cook for her. Yeah, make me a pizza, maybe. <laughs> um, Hawaiian meat lovers or? Yeah, Hawaiian. <laughs> all right, I gotta learn right. how to do it though. So we're gonna put all of this cilantro here. But the problem is, electric stoves don't cook very well. Oh yeah, no, you can do it when we move out. That way, we don't yeah. have to deal with this whole. I'll be doing a lot of cooking when I get a gas stove. The onion. Onion. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then the three cloves of the garlic. Here. Not much of a garlic person. But hey, at least it repels it vampires. Gives, <laughs> it gives a great taste to the salsa. I'm not much of a salsa person, but I know one person in my life is. I'm sorry? I know one person in my life is. One of my friends from high school. Huh. He loves salsa. That should be good. So now our next step is will be to heat up the oil. Which that's the oil she's using. It's olive oil. Yep. Shit. Oh, like the character from Popeye. Oh yeah, except <coughs> her name is written differently. Yeah. Okay. So. Reminds me of the Al Bundy joke. A tall woman olive oiled her way into the shoe store today. <laughs> Oh, but <laughs> I, I don't do it like other people who had it like, here, let me let me show you how much oil I'm going to add. It's going to be a little bit. Yeah. Oops. There. Yeah, don't overdo it, people. Yeah, and then I like to grab a napkin so that I can spread it around the room. Yeah, I know that, that sounded dirty. It did. There you go. So now that it's well spread out. That's what she said. <laughs> Gosh, you're unbelievable, babe. Hey, I got the dirty mind. <laughs> yeah, he does have the dirty mind. You're going to be marrying a guy with the filthiest mind in the world. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't worry, everybody. This is all part of the program. <laughs> so we're just going to wait for it to sit. And then... <laughs> Mm -hmm. So you start getting that. There it is. That little sizzle. Once it started 
the oil starts cooking, then that's when we put the salsa in. Yeah, and make sure it's... Let it sit for a bit. <clears throat> yep, this is going to take a while, but it's worth it. Skaters. I know. That's why I don't skate no more. And it's dangerous. You can break the leg. Great. I don't want to have that happen because then you'll say, What'd you learn? Don't jump stairs. And then when you're about to record something, I'm going to say, Break a leg, and you're going to say, I already did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's sizzling a little. I think it should be ready. Yeah. Yep, it is. See the smoke. Smoke on the water. That song's overplayed. And I'm adding, piling up the dishes that I'm gonna be washing later. Yep. Unless someone beats you to the punch. Alright, here goes. Here we go. Ready, guys? Ooh. Yeah. You hear that? It's only a little bit, but we're going to be adding water later. Yeah. So, yeah. I should have put this here. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's look at that. That's delicious. Well, it looks delicious, even though I'm not a salsa person. We're just going to let it boil for like a little bit, and then we're going to add the water in the... Looks like moss. Looks like what? Moss. <laughs> but you see at the swamp. Yeah, I'm not I don't mean to gross you out, but it kinda looks like that. <laughs> what are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> I know that's a Shrek joke. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the bottle of water that I'm gonna throw in there. The water. Another ingredient I forgot to mention is the uh, the chicken broth powder. Because you're gonna need that too. It's right here. For the salty flavor. See? This uh, you can out use Maggie, you know, you know about Mexican ingredients. But my favorite is not no suiza. It tastes and it's, it smells like chicken. Oh, it smells awesome. Yeah. Look at that, babe. I know, my mom used to use it. Plus, that's what they use in Top Ramen. Yeah, you remember those little squares? Some people use the square as the powder, but then, then they release some the that is already in uh, liquid. Which is okay. I'm not going to shit on it. Okay, so then we can use the yeah, water. Yeah, bubbling a little. <laughs> bubbling. Okay, it's probably gonna get aggressive by here goes. Oh no, it's pretty chill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guess that'll do it. And then this. Add a little of the chicken or the Marcy. Just a little more. You don't want to add too much because then it's going to be too salty. And we're also going to add the pasote leaves. Which is going to add a little seasoning to it. Which is what you want. And then towards the end, that's when you add the rest of the stuff. Which I'm going to go over later as we go. Yeah. So I'm putting it right here. See? <laughs> ya le eché, como ya vi que hirvió, le puse el agua, el, el pasote y el North Suiza. ¿Es un saborito? ¿Es chile? Sí, uh, ven a ver si tú quieres que le eche la cámara, que la quite. Ok, haga un lado la cámara. Oh, can you, um, have the... like, the camera facing the other way? Because my mom doesn't want to be on camera, so. All right. Así de agua le pongo no, 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 más agua. Ah. Okay. 
No, Eli. El agua tiene que quedar por acá. Oh. Oh, yes, yeah. need some water, guys. More water. Sí, ¿cuándo los tres de tomates? Sí. Échale, échale todo. Échale otra botella. Otra botella entera, ok. Mm -hmm. We need one more bottle. Oh, the chest is much faster. Yeah, we're all that water. No, lo que pasa es que así se ve, le pusimos poquito. Lo que pasa es que lo esparcí y es aceite de oliva. Mm. Es de este. Échale, échale, échale. Toda, 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 toda. Voy a desmadrosa. Híjole, si no moliste bien la salsa. Sí. Okay, you don't want to add too much water. Sí, es un chingo ahí hasta. Le molí como tres veces. Ok, no te dan el rico más que se va a salir sabroso. O tú dirás si le falta más sal. No, ponle sal. Si pongo más sal. Ponle más suicita. Ok, it's neat. It's gonna need more chicken broth. Yeah, you want to make sure it has that perfect seasoning. Así, ponle toda. ¿Cómo están los, las tortillas? Yo no sé, pero no me cae bien. No, ya, están no medio saladas, no tanto. Tienen menos sal que las de azúcar, sí. Ponle. ¿Y por qué, por qué está un poquito chile? Más le puse dos. ¿Dos qué? Chiles. No, 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 espérate, déjame ver. ¿Por qué? Dos chiles, trece tomates, como dijiste. Oye, pero mira, parece que pura agua. A ver, fíjate, fíjate. ¿Qué tal si tienes que molerle un poco más de chile? No, pendeja, soplale primero. No sabe el chile. El chile. Ponle dos más, porque no pica. Este, okay, have an update, guys. Es que no need too ponle, much este, ponle, okay. Pon dos. Ponle aquí, mira, todo esto se le baja a, con el agua, ah, agua para tirarle allí. Okay. Este, ponle dos chiles, aunque sean crudos, así no importa que sean crudos. Dos chiles y ponle un tomate para que se te puedan, este... Oh, para este, se muela, se muela. Y le pones con media, media, nada, ¿no? no, espérame. No te quiero cagar, espérame. Sí. Con el agüita que lo vas a poner y todo que sea media, media botella más. Ok, lo molemos con media botella. Ah, no. ¿Ese es un tomate? Sí. Ah, sí. Ok. No, no muelas, no, le no ponemos muelas. media botella. Nada más molemos sí. esto eh, ahí. Es, échale, con tantita agua. Con un cuarto de botella de agua. Y luego lo pones otro cuarto. Y luego ya que esté hirviendo eso, pones los quesos. Pero que haya hervido, Eli. Sí, mamá. Si no hierve, no, este, no te va a servir. Ok, so, we're still rolling, right? Ya yep. no vamos a hacer. Ok. So, it wasn't spicy enough, so we're gonna add two more chinas en la tomato. Yeah. And we're gonna be using the blender again, but we don't need to cook them anymore. It's just gonna be like that. Yeah. Yeah, my mom says it's not spicy enough. Yeah. That's so the thing she, about Mexican moms. They're picky with the picky. So she wants that extra spice. Exactly. So we're going to put them here. And... You need the lid is over here in the water. We need a quarter of a bottle of... Okay, I'm going to grab the reactor. Yeah, just in case. Okay. Yes. Can they be down here? Hmm? Can they be down here? Yeah, it's okay. Looks like we got a guest for a cooking show. Don't chew my hair though. No, it's fine. It looks great. Yeah, I don't know why he keeps, he keeps saying that he doesn't like his hair. Probably because you got your hair cut at the other barber shop, right? No, it's bald. No, it isn't. Bald is where the hair is like really down the road. <laughs> No, actually, bald is where it's like down to the skull. Just look at that. You know, I'm not a salsa person. That looks pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she says she wants me to rinse it out in the thing. That'll do it. I hope. Yeah. And then we're gonna add more water. 
water. <sighs> I have a lot of trash to throw out after this. <laughs> yep. There you go. It's okay if it's a little loose because you're going to add the cheese and the cream later. Yep. Just in case. Okay, now it's time to taste it. Hopefully it's a little spicier now that we added two more cheese. Don't worry, it doesn't burn. Yeah, it should be spicier later. Yeah, because it takes time for the spice to kick in. <clears throat> I think that should be good. Yeah. We just gotta. Just in case, we're gonna add a little more of this. Oh, uh, knock it up a notch. Yeah. See, that chicken stuff will add a little more spice. Take it from us. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, it's gonna add more salt. Salt. You know salt's bad. Come on, I don't want you here. I want you in the food. <laughs> Maybe it likes the spoon. Yeah. Okay, so. Now we put the <coughs> excuse me. We put on the lid and we're going to let it rest for a little bit. Yeah. And then when it's boiling, then we can go ahead and add the rest of the stuff. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and the tortillas, too. Ooh. I know. Everything's always teasing, Mike. <laughs> yeah, certain <coughs> foods tease me, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, in the meantime, I'm sh I should be washing this stuff because I don't want to pile up dishes. Plug for a sec. Yep, see? She cooked it pretty good. That's going to be boiling. Here's the rest of the ingredients. Right there and right there. And also mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I see we have a spider monkey. What? A spider monkey. You don't know what spider monkeys are? Yeah, I know. They're like monkeys, but they're hyper. Yeah. Oh, shh. Thank you. Do this. No, spider monkeys, they, uh, <laughs> they don't do that. Yeah, they do. No, they run. They do things. No, they run and smack into stuff, or they throw things at people. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna charge it. Camera went flying. Oh, watch out, buddy. What? You were in the camera. And then. And then. Yep, she's still doing it. <laughs> Sun tight. Sun tight. Yeah, so we got the ingredients. Let's look at all that cheese. I do love cheese, but too much of it, too much cholesterol. Oh, let me fuck with it. Yeah, there we go. If you didn't get a good picture, that's what it looks like. Stop falling. 
Nein. Yep. We're making sure the food looks extra delicious. Cheese. Cheese, grommet cheese. And if you must know, we're trying some new liquor. That's right. You know, I've actually tried the other version, which is in the fridge. It's not bad. Not bad. Well, we will show you what it looks like. It's <laughs> pretty damn funny, if you ask me. Yeah, because I'm talking about it on our thing. The liquor. Like I said, it's not bad, really. This one. Here, compare the two bottles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's too hard though. See? Too much liquor. I tried it. It's different so brand, and it doesn't say the liquor. Uh, well, the percentage on it. That's. Oh yeah, Xavier, but you tried the. Oh, it's right and here. Like it's uh -oh. right here the whole time. How much? Twelve percent. Oh, okay. So it's only like. Two percent stronger. Oh, okay. So. Maybe I could do a comparison for you guys to see who's better, but we're good. We're going to try it on Christmas Eve. What are the odds of me taking a sip of this right now? Oh, God. No, what are the odds? I don't know. There are no odds. Because you won't do well. I will. Something crazy at the mall. Maybe I will. You're gonna you're gonna start binge shop shopping and then you're gonna have no money left. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't get drunk that easy, dude. It takes more than that to knock me on my butt. <laughs> 